Chagrat in Persian. Our research department looked it up. It's exposed. Be exposed. When you become famous, you become exposed. All your faults, people can see it. When you're no one, no one cares. Everything is hidden. You become famous, they're looking at any. You acquire enemies, rivals, everyone looking for the smallest chance to expose you. Paparazzi coming to catch a picture of you doing something. And some, not a judge, some people, they couldn't become famous, but they wanted to become famous. And all their time was spent wishing to be famous. Only I was famous. Only I had my chance. They were ready to do anything to become famous. So So many people went to Bollywood and Hollywood. Is there a Pakistani one also? Must be. Bollywood. Bollywood. What's the Turkish one? Where they work for them? Must be our teacher. They went to become famous. They were willing to do anything to become famous. Then they fall into a problem and they say, they did this to me, they did this to me. What? You were ready to do anything to be famous. You left your normal self and ran after that. Go to be with Allah's love, to be with the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the love of Aulia. We say we love you to them, but we're weak people. Our love is not much, not much. Our love is mixed with um, our ego, not pure, not something. But their love, mashallah, this is it's better to hear I love you than for us million times to say I love you. May Allah grant us to hear such words. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa rahmatullahi ta'ala The deputy of the one who spread the himma, all the different kinds of himma to the world creation. Sahib al-Himam. Grant us Himma and guide us also. Give power in our steps and make our steps to be on the right way. That's one of the shaykhs. Dua. Ehdina ila haq wa ya tariqin mustaqim hata astari haminaw. Guide us on the right way, on truth, on haq, so that we don't fall into blameworthy, to be blamed, fall into blame. I was saying to, uh, we had a session this morning with Sidi Hussein and the people from Morocco and Montreal. I think someone from Chicago was there. I learned a new word today. Every day, one new word. It was in uh, the comments section of a website I like to read. He posts strange things, UFOs and strange uh, events. 
Someone wrote on the comments, all kinds of strange professors write to him. Uh, he said, because humanity is producing louche. And what? I looked again. Louche. He said, look it up. Okay. I looked it up. Now we have Google. I looked it up. Lush is the negative energy that people produce when they're afraid, when they're confused, when they're terrorized, when they're in stress, in doubt, they produce negative energy. They call it lush in this person's school of thought. He said, Lush is the food for the Shayateens. And all this world is like a farm for producing Lush, but they eat that negative energy. I said, I don't know if this is correct or not. But we have to see, because Prophet said, wisdom is the lost property of the believer. Anywhere you see it, claim it as your own. Are we producing negativity that Shayateens is feeding on that energy? Might be. It might be. Might be. We give them power. Why well, Sheikh Nazim used to say, uh, patience at the first blow. What's needed. He said at the moment of anger, or that person said fear or terror or confusion or this or that, negative emotions. At the beginning, shaitan is powerful. We come with something to make you afraid, to be in doubt. He used to use it for anger. The first moment of anger, is where Shay Shaitan's power is most powerful. He said, if you can be ready, Nakshibandi, all the principles of Nakshibandi can be summed up. Try to be ready. Try to be ready. To gather your heart in your Lord's presence. Only the, in the soft parts, we try to concentrate that. But the rest of the time, we're, our guard is down. But now, it's a battlefield everywhere. Guard has to be up. At the beginning of a negative of a test of a negative thing, Shaitan is in full power, and we have to catch it there. If you catch it there, you win. It comes down. Shaitan power comes down. If you don't catch it there, Shaitan power increases. So yes, they're feeding off our Anger, at least you can say that. I don't know the rest of it is true, but if you want to think that for evil, this world is a place for preparing a big feast for eating and drinking, to make people in the worst situation and feeding on their negativity. There's some toys. I don't know if any of you had them when you were smaller. Maybe you still have. You make a punching bag. It's a doll. The bottom is very round and the top is small. Roly poly. It's heavy at the bottom, so it always comes. You punch it and it pops back up. You punch it and it pops back up. Like that. You feed it the energy and bring it pops back up on it. Asking to be away from that, oosh, if that's a real word, from that negative energy. And asking from Sahib or Imdad, Kut Kut Mutasar, Madan al Haq, power to step on the right way, on the positive way, to correct 
our riot, our target, our aim, to be always on Hanukkah. In the right way, and to remind ourselves again and again because we need constant reminding. We fix our target and then we forget. We have to again say, Yes, after all, fix our target again. People is like that, our nature is like that. Quickly, uh, we forget. Hasty. Somebody sent me something the other day. A phone rang. Not the ordinary phone, it was another messenger or some unusual app that I never used. There's no way you can figure out how to answer it. I'm looking for an icon, how to answer that. I see it's somebody I know, a friend of mine. I called him on the regular phone. I say, did you just call me? Said, no, you just called me. I said, I didn't call you. I said, I didn't call you. I pressed it in the pocket, pocket uh, on an app also, a strange app. He said, it's good you called. I said, why is that? I just sent you something from Sheikh Nazim. You'll like it. He said, hang up and go look. I closed it. I looked at it, and Mohan Sheikh Nazim had said, you have to train yourself to know when to be patient and when to act. Two mistakes. Sometimes we're hasty, too quick to act, to do something, and we fall into a mistake. Impatient. It was better to wait. Sometimes we wait too long. We procrastinate and the moment of opportunity passes. As they say in Arabic, Nisab, your chance. Your good chance comes once, opportunity knocks once. If you don't answer that time, it goes, it doesn't come back. You have to wait for the next chance. Between two choices. Our target, what's wanted, O Allah, is Allah in Wujud wa Shuhud. Really, and in witnessing without any arguing on that point. We have to set our target again and again. This is the holy month of the Dhuqa. It's the holiest days of the year. It's the culmination of the Khalwat, 40 days, from the beginning of Bukhada up to Eid al -Aha. Climax, the top point, Arafa, Yom Arafa, coming next uh, next Thursday, it shall be from And it should be Friday, according to what the Hajj people announced. We're not going this year on Hajj because of the conditions that closing, but we have a chance to do Hajj to the Kaaba to our hearts. Kalbu Mu'min by Turab, you said it before. Shaykh Hisham used to use that hadith always. The heart of the believer is the house of Allah. All will move me by to rub. Our journey is to that house. Our heart, which is the house of the Lord. 
and then to the Lord of that house. So look, from dunya to maula. It's an outward journey and an inward journey. We show you the signs on the horizons and in yourselves. Both ways. So there's a hajj to go from your home to Mecca, Mukarama, to visit the house of Allah. And there's a hajj to write to Quran to our hearts. And the purpose of seclusion, 40 days, to try to make that journey to the house of Allah that Allah puts through our hearts. He said, heavens and earth can't contain me, but the heart of the believer contains me. We have to try to journey towards that, to set our target for that, to make our steps firm for that journey. These 40 days is for that purpose, to try to push on a little bit harder, try to make zikr a little bit more, or read Quran a little bit more, or the Khairat, or Dua, or Muraqaba, or something. Try to do something a little bit more than usual. Quran used to say, if you confess, especially Arafat, 10th of Muharram, 9th of Muharram, Nakshibandi, Ramadan, six days of Shawal, Arafat, and Ashura, are the main days. After that, whatever the person can do. And Arafat, they say the Hajj is Arafat. The whole Hajj is condensed into Arafat. Everything else is just to get ready for Arafat. Arafat to stand in the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, la baik, Allahumma la baik, ask him, and make him on a jat, and to be with him. We're asking through these 10 days to move from dunya to maula. We can't be there but to be through our hearts for Allah asking our Lord to open a way through our hearts for lights to open. To come through the barriers of darkness that covers us as a dark cloth, as a dark shroud. She close her eyes dark. God, nothing. says there's lights there, but yet we're not seeing it. Imam Ghazali says we know it from hearing about it, from knowledge, but we have faith because of that. But we're not seeing it. We didn't reach to the stage of seeing. Only we believe in it. And Tariqat, a way for seeing, for reaching, for reaching, to go beyond only to believe in it, but finally, finally to know it and see it, to be in it. Mani Sheikh Hashem said that when Holy Quran was being revealed to the Sahaba. Some of the Sahaba were hearing it. We're hearing Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, Alibnaim, Zadik al Kitab al etc. We will hear the verses. Some of the Sahaba were hearing it. The Prophet was reciting, they're hearing it. Like we do. Some, they were on another level, they were seeing it. When Holy Quran mentions, for instance, uh, they were seeing Musa 
saying to his fatah, I'm not going to stop till I reach the place where the two sees me. They were seeing it in some way. Other Sahaba reached to another level. They were present. They were there witnessing it. They, they were in the picture. They were in it, taking part. They were also with Musa looking the light on the mountain. The stage of witnessing. We're asking to be on that level. We're far away. Stop your own lot. These millions and billions of stuff. You can't pretend to be on some level you're not. <laughs> We're not like Mulana Sheikh and Grand Sheikh. We're like beginners. We heard about it. We want to reach, but we don't. Like a person who went to. There was a funny story for Imam Nawawi. Radiallahu anhu. Karim Allah. That's what we want to say for him. Rahim Allah. Allah bless you. Imam Nawawi, one of the famous Imams in Islamic history, he wrote books of Hadith and uh, his books are standard textbooks for Islam. In his time, he wrote a guidebook for Hajj. It became very popular. Dar Shahran Afin Asti became famous for that guidebook. It shows the point also. Everyone was going to Mecca, every Haji, and taking out Imam Nawawi's book. Now you go here, now you go there, then you go there, and you sit. And they're following. But he didn't go to Hajj himself. He hadn't he didn't, what, didn't have the chance to go yet. He wrote the book based on what he read from his studies. But he never went. Finally, Imam Sheikh Nazim, Allah bless him, he said, one year it was his turn. Allah called him for Hajj. And he went. And on Hajj, you can't tell who's famous, who's not famous, who's king, who's beggar. Everyone, two white sheets walking out. Yeah. Like, like, you don't know who's anything there. Yeah. Prince has his iram, he's walking one place, walking along one way, and a small boy came up to him. He said, oh, Shay, Shay, you can't go that way. What do you mean I can't go that way? No, no, Imam Nawawi no, says in his guidebook you have to go that way. <laughs> and he was Imam Nawawi. <laughs> so uh, our, we're asking to go to where we're speaking about, to reach it, really, to taste it and to see it. Asking, Walana Shaykh Khulbiyadi, take us by the hand to reach. We have so many mistakes. May Allah forgive us. Clean us, even a little bit, to catch even a glimpse. Lana Sheikh said, use your belief power, not your mind power, to break through the hijabs, the uh, barriers, the uh, veils of darkness that's between us and break through to another world. Break through to another world. When I was young, Sing, break on through, break on through to the other side. Well, I was saying, break through that barrier. Not only this dunya that we're in it, there's another world beyond, and another, and another, and it's endless. Yoma, not we semai katayi sijil kutu. One day, the heavens and earth will be rolled up like a scroll, like a cartoon. If you're watching a cartoon on your iPad or your phone, what if it rolls up and all the characters roll up with it? And there's something, a new screen behind it. Allah said, I will roll up this world. Heavens and earth will be rolled up like the scribe rolls up his scroll or the Calligrapher rolls up her canvas. She said to mail it. Be nothing. What's beyond that world? That 
prophet is saying, in kuntum Allah, You want to be loved by Allah, you want to hear those heavenly words, I love you, coming from the Lord, follow me. You should hear, you should see. But we're not thinking about it. The beginning is through intention. We intend to follow our prophet through those holy worlds to hear heavenly voice. Oh, my servant, come in, enter, oh, my Lord, come, oh, my servant, come, Ibadi. Who I love him. My servant, his body, he is possessive. I breathe into Adam from my breathing. We're asking during these days and nights, try to be present. First advice has to go to the speaker. First advice has to go to the speaker. We're asking, I can't perfect on anybody if I also don't have that perfection. What can be, how you can affect other people? If you don't have that power, you can't have power for other, to help other people. When I was young, I wanted to take a life-saving course for lifeguard at the YMCA or at the beach. And they teach the person, first thing, save yourself. You have to be a strong swimmer first before you can save someone else or else they pull you under. We can't do anything. We have to call to a higher power to save us. May he reach down and save us and pull us up and grant us Himma and guide us to follow him, following Aulia, following Grand Shaykh, following Prophets of Allah, and to reach to heavenly worlds. To reach to the by to rub ourselves to reach the uh, rub or bite the house of the Lord and then the Lord of the house. Now he grants us. How oh, only we intend to follow our prophet and only follow our shaykh. May he make it possible for us. Make for us a way. He describes something over our level. We can't do it. We can't do it, but we're asking to you. I would say, ask even your shoelaces. We have our shoelaces. We're asking, oh, our Lord, that to reach to heavenly worlds, to your vital rub, vital cup that you put through our hearts, to reach to the uh, rub or bite that you put through our hearts, to you. They say, Ina Nida, Ina Nida, Hira we came from Allah and we're going back to Allah. They ask you to go back. You say when someone dies, prophets say try to die before you die. Try to make that journey. Means. Want to see someone who died before he died? Look at Abu Bakr. Abu Bakr is the model for Naqshbandi. He made that journey. That's Farouk. Returning to his Lord. We have to try and follow him. Have to try and the other shape, trying and encouraging his worries to follow, to reach. If we can't do anything else to it, to our intention, I'm intending to follow my shape to the divine presence, oh my, to the presence of prophets, all right, to heavenly worlds. Say, eh? Even you can't follow to the presence of an ant, never mind, take me to the presence of that ant. Is coming to blow out the fire of Nimrod. Jay Prato say, Hi Himma, and who heavenly aspiration to get up and complete our intention with goodness, complete it with goodness. 
Alhamdulillah to the one who completed our doings with goodness. He completed our important doings in goodness. Alhamdulillah. May he complete for us during this holy Hijra or to holy Arafah. Wa amin ala tawfiq. Bihamad al-Abi, bihamad al-Fatih. Amin.